Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today I wanna to talk about my Lightroom workflow, specifically how I manage my Lightroom catalogs. Now, I've been gone for about a month. That was not intentional. Uh, as you saw in my previous video, I had a trip to Italy, and when I got back, I moved to Miami, Florida. That's why this studio and set looks a little different. Now, this is not the permanent set, but it's the set for now. But back to today's subject. As I was traveling to Italy, a lot of people asked how I edit my photos on the go. And that got me to thinking, I've never really shared my workflow. So that's what today's video is about. That also goes hand in hand with today's sponsor, Lexar. More on them later. But the system I'm about to talk about today, I've had now for the last four years, and I absolutely love it. When I implemented this system, my biggest thing was, I wanna be able to travel and edit on the go and then when I'm home, edit on my Mac Studio. Now I started off with an iMac back in the day and it's transitioned to a Mac Studio, but it's the same thing. So how do I achieve this? Well, every year I start a new Lightroom catalog and I do it with a new drive. So over here, you'll see a bunch of drives behind me. What I started doing a few years ago is I started a new drive and specifically an SSD drive. I like the portability and performance you get with an SSD drive. Now there's several brands, several performances. You can take a look at them. Today we're gonna to be talking about Lexar because they are sponsoring this video and I have been using their one terabyte SSD drive for the last month and it's been pretty darn good. But back to the subject. New year, new catalog, new drive. So with this SSD drive, I store all my photos for that one year. That gives me the ability to travel and plug in that SSD drive to my laptop. And when I get home, plug it into my Mac Studio and seamlessly keep my edits and my catalog. Now you might be asking, Alex, that's a little risky. You're taking your entire catalog with you everywhere you go. And if you were just doing it this way, it is extremely risky and I would not recommend it. So I have several systems in place to prevent and mitigate risk. When I'm home and my SSD drive is plugged in to my Mac Studio, it is being backed up to two different locations. I have a local time machine backup with a pretty large drive and it backs up with Apple's time machine system, which is I think every hour or whatever, every time there's a change, I also have a Backblaze cloud backup that goes on every single day. So my SSD drive is backed up to two different places at two different times. So if I were to lose my SSD drive, I have access to it on my time machine. I also have access to it on my Backblaze setup. If you're not familiar with Backblaze, Backblaze is a online cloud-based backup provider they are actually extremely affordable and offer several plans. I've been using them for years and they are absolutely great. And by also having a local backup, I prevent any issues if I have no internet or for some reason I can't connect to the cloud. So that essentially is my system on a yearly basis. After the year ends, I will stop adding photos to that SSD drive and then I will back up that drive to another local drive I have and have two different backups of that SSD drive in two different drives in case one were to fail. So by the time a year is done, I have all my photos in an SSD drive, in my time machine backup, in my Backblaze backup, and in my third additional storage device I have here uh, in an undisclosed location. I won't, I won't tell you where it's at, but essentially, several points of failure in case anything were to happen. Now with this system, I've had zero issues and it's given me the ability to edit when I'm traveling, edit when I'm not home, and also when I'm home, seamlessly continue my edits on my large screen on my Mac Studio. It is a system that I absolutely love and highly recommend. With that said, let's get to today's sponsor, Lexar. So you might have heard of Lexar for their memory cards. I currently use Lexar memory cards on all my Leica cameras. They also make SSD drives. Here in front of me, I have their one terabyte SSD drive that I've been using for the past few weeks, and it is incredibly fast and 
small. So in this drive, I have my entire 2023 catalog, which means if I plug in this drive to my laptop over here, I can edit on the go. I plug it into my Mac studio behind me. I can edit right now. And essentially I'm traveling with a very fast drive everywhere I go and I'm getting incredible performance regardless of the machine I am using. Lexar is sponsoring today's video because right now they are offering this drive at Costco for $69.99 with an additional 64 gigabyte USB thumbstick. A one terabyte SSD drive for $69.99. That is absolutely wild because if you were to add a terabyte to your Mac uh, out of the factory, I think Apple charges two to $400. So you're getting incredible performance at an incredible price. So if you have a Costco membership, check out this Lexar bundle on sale right now. Back to today's video. So essentially, that is my Lightroom catalog workflow. I wanted to make this video because recently there's been some news around an SSD drive that's been failing and a lot of websites have been uh, or pulling the recommendation for in this drive. And yeah, a lot of drama around the storage space. But I think that people are looking at it from the wrong perspective. Now, before SSD drives with regular hard drives, everybody knew they would fail and they would take that very seriously by buying multiples, backing up. With SSD drives came uh, an incredible jump in performance, but also the fact that there was no moving parts, people assumed they would not fail. That is not the case. Anything can fail. And just because something can fail doesn't mean you shouldn't use it, right? You should just learn how to work around those potential points of failure. Ben Heish also did a video on this and I completely agree with everything he said and he has a similar workflow. So in the end, I think implementing a system like this allows you to be able to take your catalog and your edits on the go. It allows you to have incredible performance, but you also gotta be careful. So you might be asking yourself, Alex, so how many drives do you have total? Well, when I implemented the system, I went back and I stored all my catalogs for previous years in their own individual drives. I currently have an SSD drive for every year starting in 2015. That is eight total. Back then they were a lot more expensive. They weren't as cheap as they are now and you weren't able to find bundles like the one I just mentioned with Lexar at Costco. But it's worth the investment. I also have several, several regular non SSD drives uh, that just are backups of backups of backups. But hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below, do you use a similar system? Do you do something differently? Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a discussion and hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.